Mahjong is a four-player game where each player has a 13-tile hand and takes turns drawing and discarding tiles to form a winning hand. These winning hands consist of four groups of three tiles and a single pair. The groups can be a sequence of tiles from the same suit, like a 7-8-9 of dots, or a triplet of the same tile like three dragons. You can also get these groups by taking the tiles that other players discard. This is called pawn when you are taking your opponent's tile to form a triplet, cons for quadruplets, which acts like a triplet for your winning hand, and chi for sequences, which can only be done with tiles discarded by the person to your left. When you do these actions, the tiles are pushed off to the side face up for everyone to see. In addition, your winning hand composition must also have a yaku, which is a specific pattern of tiles. There are dozens of yakus, each one worth different points, or han, and the more combinations of han your winning hand has, the more points it's worth. Some basic yaku are triples of dragon tiles, triples of wind tiles that match your seat in relation to the dealer, triples of wind tiles that match the game you are playing, this will almost always be the east tile in my videos, or having a hand that consists of only the two through eight tiles. You can also give any winning hand combination a yaku by declaring Rishi, where you bet 1000 points to say, I am one tile away from winning. This is also known as being in Tenpai. You can only Rishi if your hand is completely hidden, meaning you haven't used any of your opponent's tiles to form groups. While in Rishi, if the tile you draw does not complete your winning hand, you must discard that tile. If you do draw the tile, which is called Sumo, you win the hand and everyone pays a split of the value of your hand with the dealer paying majority of it. If someone discarded your winning tile, you can run them, and they pay the entirety of the value of your winning hand. An important part of Japanese Mahjong is that you cannot call Ron on tiles you have previously discarded. This is called being in Furiten. So if I discarded a 5 of dots earlier, I cannot call Ron for that tile, but I can still win with that 5 of dots if I draw it myself. There are some other rules for being in Furiten, but they're a bit too nuanced for this TLDR intro. After the points are given, we draw a new hand and do it all over again. If the winner of the hand was the dealer, they get to be dealer again, otherwise the dealer seat is passed to the right. This continues until one player has negative points, or until every player has gotten to be dealer once, or twice if you're playing a full game, also known as the south game. If the game would normally end in rotation, but no one has above 30,000 points, the game continues until someone does. Oh, and one more thing. That bit over there is showing us what tile is the Dora for this hand. Each Dora tile is worth one Han, so if I have three Doras, my Han has three extra Han to it, making it worth a lot more. That tile there isn't the Dora, it's indicating that the next tile in the sequence is the Dora. So if a two of characters is showing, then the three of characters is the Dora for this game. More Doras are revealed when anyone does a Khan, <gasps> which can lead to some very high value hands. One one more thing is that the red 5 in each suit acts like a door as well. There are a lot of other minor rules to the game, but those are the very basics to allow you to follow the flow of Japanese Mahjong. And with that, on to the video!